In one of the previous videos, we saw how simple it is to use policies in Riptilla to steer specific application traffic onto specific links. In this video, we will look into building these policies. Let's go to policies. So with 17.2 onwards, Riptilla has introduced a wizard-like option into building policies. So let's create our first policy. The first thing we do is to create groups of interests. Let's create an application list for matching web traffic. We call this web and match the application family as web. Next, we create a site list where we'll add the site ID for both branch 1 and branch 2. The site ID for branch 1 is 301 and similarly we'll add it for site 2. Let's add an SLA class and call this HTTP class. We won't be using any link metrics as we want the web traffic to always go through one of the links. And finally, let's add a VPN list and add our service VPN, which is 10, to which the policy should be applied. Click Next. We don't need any topology control, uh, so we will skip to the next step. Let's create a new app policy. Let's call this HTTP through internet. Let me add the first sequence and the first rule. And here, match against application family that we defined. We don't need to match anything else, so let's go to Actions. And then here, match our SLA class list that we created. HTTP class. And here we'll put our preferred color, which should be Business Internet. Let's also go and add a backup uh, preferred color, which should be MPLS in our case. So primarily all traffic would be pushed towards the internet link only. Save it. And this is the, the match conditions and the action conditions. Go to the default action, it's enabled. And let's save our policy. So this is our complete policy, which we have created. So now let's go ahead and create our CFLOD policy, which will be used to send traffic flows to live action. So let me call this as live action. So Riptilla will send IP fix flows to live action. So let's add my collector. My collector is available on VPN 0. The address is 9.9.9.222. Port number 205. UTP. And interface is GC0 slash 0. Let's save a policy. Uh, let's go to traffic data policy and create a policy called, uh, say, all traffic. Yeah, let's add our policy. We'll create a custom policy and we'll just ensure that all traffic is subjected to IP fix flows or the CFLOD policy that we created. So we'll go to the actions. We'll not have any match conditions. We'll just accept and we'll say CFLOD and it's enabled. Let's also go back to the default action and ensure that it's enabled for all other traffic as well. So let's change this to accept. Uh, okay, I forgot to hit save. So let's create the rule again. No match conditions, go to actions and enable CFLOD. Save it. 
no match conditions and see flood and that's done so let's hit next now here we'll create the final policy which is basically assembling the policies so we'll call it web through internet let's go to our application or our routing and add our site list which is the branch 1 and branch 2 and then the VPN list which should be our service VPN 10 let's add them and it's the it's applied to the HTTP2 internet policy that we created then go to traffic data which is our all traffic policy that we created and uh, we'll ensure that the direction is all and we'll add our both site IDs and the service VPN let's add let's go to cflowd and then create a new site list add to each one and then just add and then hit save policy now the policy is completely done uh, so let's uh, go ahead and activate the policy Sorry, and let's go to policies. This is a policy. We'll go and activate the policy. So once you activate the policy, it gets pushed to vSmart, and vSmart then pushes it across to all the VHS as part of the site list that we created. So let's wait for the policy to get uh, successfully pushed. Yes, the policy has been pushed. So let's go to the network and select our branch one device and go to troubleshooting and then let's do I'm sorry let's do the simulate flows select a VPN and the destination IP of branch two for the application web let's simulate and there you can see that uh, the traffic is now flowing through business internet since we also sent the traffic flows to live action let's quickly log on to live action as well and then refresh the traffic and as you can see that the traffic is actually flowing through only the internet links between the two branches so you can see how easy it is to apply policies within Riptila and apply it to the devices. Thanks.